Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. We are finally getting a Pokemon competitive match in the game. I have my whole team here finally done, except for my Corviknight does not have Roost and or Bulk Up. So, I'm not even going to use him at all today. I have been, so right now it is 8.39 p.m. I've been trying to record this video since 6.30 p.m. So for two hours, I've been trying to catch a Rickety with Roost at Route 1 or 2 or whatever. And uh, I can't get it. I did get a shiny Rookity, though. I do have a shiny Rookity. Unfortunately, it has the Unnerve ability, which is not what I want. And you can't use an Ability Capsule to get Hidden Abilities. So I don't know if I'm ever going to use them. I might just give them to someone. I might give them to one of my friends. I don't know. But this is going to be the team we're rocking with. This is, I believe this is the same team I was using in that Pokemon Showdown. I might have changed a few things up. I don't think this Toxtricity was part of that team. This is actually literally my... Yeah, I don't think it was because I believe this is my first time ever using Toxtricity. So we are going to hop right into a game. We got into a game. It took me a while to figure out uh, how to get here. So it looks like he is actually rocking the basic Rain Dance team. Or the Rain team. The Rental team. Which, honestly, I kind of wish I would have just done that instead of waiting. Dude, it's been so long. Like, today is November 27th, the day before Thanksgiving. And I am finally done making this team. So basically... I have a lot to learn in Pokemon this year, but I want to get back into it. And the one thing I know to stand true is my Pelipper, I pretty much always want to be my lead. Basically always with Rotom as well, just the Drizzle. And he's going to have Focus Sash with Tailwind. And then he is rocking an all rain team. So I'm definitely want Toxicity in there. You know, Electric type against this full on rain team. And then what if he does Ludicolo? He's Water Grass, right? Dude, I don't think he has anything that can touch a Ferrothorn, except for the Pelipper. Well, actually, does that block out? Because Pelipper's super effective Hurricane would be against the Grass, but I think it's... I don't really know. I got a lot to learn. We're hopping into it with this team right here. It took me forever to get this team, and like I said in the beginning, I can't even use Corviknight right now because I don't have his moveset. And uh, yeah, it took me a long time to figure that garbage out, but... Let's hop into it here. Let's see. I have my hood up. I'm I'm cold. I'm cold today. Pelipper and Raichu. So he's definitely going for the Drizzle Thunder. 100% accuracy. And I'm sure he's probably going to want to Tailwind at the same time. So what I might do here is I'm sure he's going to want to Focus Sash Tailwind on his Pelipper. Just like is exactly what I want to do. So I think I just want to go ahead and... Oh no, I messed up my Pelipper. I put Roost on him instead of Protect. Because I was trying to see if the egg moves would switch between Pelipper and Corviknight. And it didn't. I don't have Protect on here. I think that he, with his Corviknight, though, I think he's going to Tailwind with his Focus Sash. I think I'm just going to double hit into his... Or should I just guarantee... Should I just guarantee and get my Tailwind up, though? Because I kind of want to do that. I'm going to guarantee and get my Tailwind up. That's what I need to do. And then I am going to... Thunder onto the Pelipper. Just to see what he does. Okay, so he used Protect, so he doesn't even have a Tailwind up. Okay, lucky me. Maybe he expected to get me to go for that. He should be hitting the Pelipper here with the Thunder. He does, but I do have Focus Sash. Of course, big living. You always got to have a Focus Sash on this boy. I got to get my Tailwind up. So now, his Pelipper cannot Protect again. Well, I can't. I think he can, but... Oh my goodness, that Raichu has Lightning Rod? Oh crap, I did not know that. Wowzas. I did not know that. Okay, so we're just going to Hydro Pump into that Raichu then. I did not, oh crap, I should have, I used that Rain Team. I, I think I only used Raichu a couple of times. But if I Hurricane here on the Pelipper, I know he's going to live with his Focus Sash, but at least it'll it'll take care of that problem. And then with the Raichu, if I, like I said, if I Hydro Pump into it, because right now my Pelipper is living still. He still has Focus Sash, and then my Rotom lives a hit. So let's see what he does. Just waiting. Ooh, what drew? Okay. Seismitoad. Toad. 
Hurricane over there. Not gonna kill. Oh, crit though. I like that. Big damage. And I Hydro Pump is... He avoided the attack. Are you kidding me? Oh, wait a minute. You know, earlier I was saying that my... I still have Sash, but I don't have Sash. Duh, dude. I can't believe he freaking lived that. That's absolutely insanity. So I'm gonna Hurricane into the Seismitoad again. And then... Crap, what do I do? I mean... I'm just gonna will o -Wiss his Raichu. Because, well, I, no, I want to Hydro Pump while, while it rains up. I can't believe that this Raichu, two turns in a row now. Oh, he's using Faint. That's going to take out my Pelipper. Okay, that's kind of annoying. And his Seismic Toad is going to outspeed me? What? Holy crap, his Seismic... Raichu avoided again? I had... I've had... Okay, I normally run Scald on my Rotom, but someone told me that when it's raining, Skull, or Hydro Pump does not miss. Well, they freaking lied. That is a lie. Because it does miss. So I think I'm going to take Hydro Pump off of my Rotom and put Scald on. After, especially after this, because, dude, that is annoying. Okay, so what is this one causes huge... Attacks opposing. I know one of these hits everyone, right? Yeah. Boom Burst hits everything. So, I want to overdrive. It doesn't affect the Seismitoad. Hmm. I'll Sludge Bomb into the Seismitoad. Maybe I can get a poison off. And then I'm just going to go for the Hydro Pump again on this Raichu, dude. Holy crap. Get a Sludge Bomb over there. Just finish him off. I mean, he was so weak. And I didn't want to use... I didn't want to take a chance to use an electricity move. Just in case this Raichu... That Lightning Rod, like, would have affected it. But let's see what this does. Drizzle with... There we go. Thank you. Okay. All right. We got two hits there. He's going to have a Pelipper with Focus Ash, and I'm going to expect for his Pelipper right here to protect. So I'm going to Dynamax and hit into that Pelipper slot. Is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to expect in this Pelipper protect like he did the last time. Ludicolo. Ludicolo is Water Grass type, if I'm not mistaken. And I want to Dynamax. Max Lightning. Well, do I, should I Dynamax Max Lane or should I just Overdrive first so I can get, um, I think I just want to Overdrive, for, no, wait, because he's going to protect. I was thinking of, like, Overdriving first so I can get that Throw Spray boost. I'm going to Dynamax first just because I'm fully expecting the Protect to come out from him. And then I will, I'll go ahead and Willow West the Ludicolo and see what happens. You want, I, sh I feel like I should have activated my throw spray first, but I mean, I really think he's going to protect here. And I just want to at least hit that focus sash down. Toxicity looking like a straight up gangsta. Ice beams my toxicity. Big living though. Pelipper didn't even protect. Wow, so now I totally wait. Oh, you know what? Maybe he didn't protect because he knew he had focus sash. Huh. Okay. That's fine, though. They double hit into my Toxicity. Wowzers. And Rotom's gonna uh, Willow West over there. Hit that Ludicolo. Kind of make sure he gets nullified here. Give him some big damage. The rain is stopped. Which kind of really affects my Rotom because now he doesn't have his guaranteed Thunder. But that's all right. Ludicolo's burned. I don't remember what item Ludicolo is holding here. So we're going to max lightning into the Pelipper again. The reason why I'm going to full on use a Dynamax move, you know, even though he has one HP, is even if he protects, I want him to go down. 100% I want him to go down. And then I will... I don't want to take a chance of Thundering because I don't want it to miss. So I'm just going to Volt Switch in the Ludicolo because I want to make sure I hit. I definitely played this weird. I, I know I did, but like I said, I got a lot to learn. 
And so this is that game. Which one does he Dynamax? I don't have Tailwind either anymore. Lulu Pelo gets Dynamax. Well, I mean, I still got my burn off on you. Well, see, he has Swift Swim, I believe. So if he uses a wall, uh, if he gets Drizzle back up, that's gonna hurt me a ton. I still go first. Make sure that Pelipper goes down. So now, it's, now we're just down. We're down to just one left. But he's definitely gonna be using a water move here to get his Drizzle back up for Swift Swim. And that is going to prove to be a bit of a pain. Goes for the Toxicity. Toxicity is going to go down. I would say that is A-OK. -okay. And it did start to rain, like I said. He has that Swift Swim, so this is going to hurt a little bit. But, we got our Volt Switch. Which actually doesn't even matter, because isn't Rotom and Dragapult? Oh no, I have Ferrothorn. I still have Ferrothorn in here. I don't even have Dragon Ball. I have Ferrothorn and Rotom. So, what we're going to do is set up Elite Seed. My Ferrothorn should be able to live every everything he has. I'm not entirely sure what his moveset is. Wait, well, are you really going to make me... Are you really going to make me pick Rotom? It's literally my last option. You're going to make me choose him? You can't just throw him in there for me? Okay, whatever. Alright, so it is raining. So, I'm going to Thunder. Is he going to protect here, though? And then I'm going to Leech Seed. Just to start start inching him down. He's going to be burned and Leech Seeded. Max Overgrowth into the Rotom, of course. Big dead. So that is his second move of Dynamax. So I'm going to get a Leech Seed off here. And I have King's Rock on my Ferrothorn. So if he hits me with a physical move... I believe it's only... Doesn't affect. Wow, I am. Oh, I'm so dumb. Ooh. Ooh, I'm dumb. Dude, I have the biggest rookie mistakes. I don't really want to protect here just because. I mean, he's still going to be able to hit me. But here's the thing Power Whip has 120. Gyro Ball. Depends on how much slower I am, but I know it's not that not a not very effective. But I still don't know how that compares to how much slower I'm going to be than him. I'm going to play the safe play and do a power whip. Max Hailstorm, Ice move. Is he going to freeze me? Man, this was ooh, this hurts so bad. <laughs> that huge mistake of me trying to lead seed like a big dummy. All right, so he doesn't have Swift Swim anymore, though, so that's good. And Power Whip does pretty big damage. He's going to get buffeted by the Hail and by the Burn. So this round, I'm going to Protect just to get that, uh, you know, give me that HP buildup, and he's going to get hit with that Burn again. So we're going to Protect this round just to, just to inch off a little bit more, a little bit more off of him. Any amount we can... Any amount we can take off of them, we're going to accept. So I'll go ahead and protect here. Man, I am such a rookie. Ice Beam walled We'll just get this burn damage. Now he should, I believe he's in power, power whip range right here, especially after a burn. And I should be living, I'm definitely living an Ice Beam. I mean, I, Ferrothorn's one tanky boy. So I just got to hope this hits, though, because it has an 85% accuracy. And I really wish I knew if, even though Gyro Ball is not very effective, I really wish I knew if it was actually better or not. Just because of how slow I uh, how slow I actually am. I can definitely, like, survive another one of those, especially if it doesn't crit. And that Power Whip hits. Let's go, dude. Heck yeah, baby. All right, that was, uh, <laughs> that was a super, like, clumsy, clumsy game. But... Like I said earlier, I have a lot to learn, and I definitely proved that here, and that's okay. I'm here to learn. With this, with these videos, do you want to check the opposing trainer's battle team? What does that even mean? Oh, I just see, like, after the fact, like, what his team was? I don't really care. Uh, but for this, like, I don't know if this is going to be a series or if I'm just going to post these. 
like if I'm gonna actually number them or not, but I'm gonna post them pretty regularly, I think. Sorry, there was like a little lint in the air. Um, even if, whether I win or lose though, I wanna post them just because if I only post wins, I said this in the Pokemon Showdown video too, if I only post wins, it's not as fun because you know I'm gonna win every time. So I'm gonna post whether I win or lose. And now that I finally got this done, I am, like, like I said, I've been trying to do this for hours. I'm going to definitely make sure that I get this Corviknight done tonight. I want to give him Roost and Bulk Up, and I want to fix my Pelipper, give him Protect back, and then I'm going to join my Thanksgiving. I know when I'm posting this. I believe I'm going to be posting this on Monday, so it's way past Thanksgiving. So by the time this video is uploaded, I should be ready to go. I'll be posting more videos. Maybe I'll have a little bit more knowledge. I should definitely probably play a few more matches just to learn. So, But thank you guys for stopping by. If you stayed here the whole time, Please uh, like the video and let me know. I appreciate your time. See you guys later.